Hi there, today we are going to discuss about URL generation in Laravel. So there are several ways you can form and generate the URL in our code. So let's discuss one by one in Laravel. So it's a web.php and uh, here is a route base path, base root path method. And uh, so the first method is, uh, let's item that URL helper. If you would item, then you will get the URL generator object. Okay, with the help of this URL generator object, we can generate our URL. So if we want to fetch or uh, fetch or get the current URL, then you can use the current. Okay, and. Uh, if any uh, URL has uh, some uh, query string like that, then it won't uh, include that because it always return the base path. Okay. If you want the full path, then you have to use the full. Like this. Okay. And if we refresh now, it also include this one of its method is previous so it returns the previously uh, hit at the hit the url and it returns the first one okay so there are several methods you can use that so now the question comes to how to form our url so before that i want to show you that uh, you can do the same thing the URL facade also. So let's comment it out. And try uh, item here. URL. Okay. Current. Like this. The same uh, response will be returned. And you can also use the full here. It will return the full URL. You can also return the previous. It will return the previous, okay. So you can use uh, either of this, please, okay. The second method, the third method is the with the help of the route uh, method. Route, route, uh, route helper. Okay. Suppose you have the route this. Okay. I have named this route unsubscribe. So with the name of this route, you can generate the URL also. So if we assign it here in the URL variable, here is the route helper. Okay and just pass the name of your route and let's die dump here to assign url like this and if we refresh it okay it needs one more parameter the user so let's fetch it out the user Let's switch all the users from the user model okay. and uh, you can pass also the parameter uh, in the sec as a second argument as an array okay so we need to pass the user because it takes a user parameter and uh, just pass the users first users and now if you refresh it we get the full and well formed url you don't have to append prepend anything else but uh, use this route or url okay you can do this with the url also but if you have a name of uh, your route then you must use this root route helper Okay, it automatically fetches the ID from the user's collection object and map to into the URL. 
okay it is very rich in wherever you don't have to do code uh, manually for everything else okay the other form of url sometime you need that uh, your new url must be secure then laravel provide the signed url so it append the signature in the url okay so there is a sign route okay and the same url the same parameter i'm passing in this now if we refresh it then you can see you will see that it will append it, the the string in that okay so there is a you can see there is a signature parameter it is appended there okay so if we copy it and paste in it have and subscribe successful because i am returning the unsubscribe successful here in this route so the question is how uh, do you validate this uh, signed url so there are two ways the first way is with the help of the request help for our object like this as sign has value signature yes so this method has valid signature validate the current url if it is a signed url okay so let's uh, return the message if it is not validated or modified modified and uh, if we refresh it now it is still return the valid return and if we modify this url signature then it returns that it's modified okay so you can uh, uh, validate the signed signature with the help of the has value signature method the other method is is with the help of the middleware if you check your http middleware no your kernel.php http kernel.php you can see here that there is a valid signature class middleware it you can use this middleware to validate your current signed url so we will use the signed uh, ideas here okay and now let's pass it here this is the signed url and we are validating here so now we don't have to do much and if we refresh it it returns an invalid signature okay and I can copy we pass the valid signature it returns successful so uh, either of the, these two ways you can use in your uh, as per your requirement if you have some customized response or some other logic then um, you must use this uh, request has valid signature if you have a straightforward unauthorized then um, you can use the middleware side um, signed middleware okay so the other variant of this signed url route, signed route is a temporary signed route it has a time stamp so let's copy it quickly and comment it out i and i think it's a temporary signed route and it has a second parameter as a time you can pass the time here uh, minutes seconds whatever you want and if we refresh it 
here then you can see it depends the expires uh, parameter in that also so this URL has a signature and also the one extra parameter expires so after the one minute it will be expired the same uh, method uh, will uh, you can use uh, uh, with the help of the request has signature valid signature method or you can use the middleware sign sign middleware okay. the next uh, method to generate the url is the action okay so here you can pass the controller and action and generate the URL. So first variant is uh, you can pass directly the string of your controller action. Okay. So if you print out, it returns the uh, form URL. Okay. It has a second variant. you can pass the controller action separately okay like this demo controller it's a class and second one is the index okay so now if you refresh it it is the same and if you want to pass the some parameter then you can pass okay like uh, if you want to pass the id equals to one and if you refresh it it will append this id here because uh, this road uh, hasn't taken any parameter okay if we any root uh, hasn't take any parameter and you pass the forcefully then it will append it will take it as a query string okay so you can use this method uh, i think i have missed one you can also form the url with the help of the url helper method like this okay So you can pass like this suppose okay so it will also create generate your uh, URL so there are too many ways to generate and form the URL in your code okay sometimes uh, we need that uh, we uh, we can add the default parameter to our routes okay suppose uh, we have a route this local my upcoming video will be on uh, localization so with the help of that you can uh, multilingual your uh, laravel project so it has a local parameter and local parameter uh, i must say that uh, you need to pass in your every route here okay so uh, instead of passing in every route manually you can pass through it to the your uh, from your common place like uh, if you have a middleware like this i have a demo middleware okay and there is a method url defaults so you can pass your local and any other parameter you want to pass in every route okay or any specific route then you can pass a condition here also so like this you can uh, control your uh, you, know, uh, you can man maintain your dry code do not repeat yourself code Okay, so th that's all for the URL generation. I hope it helps. Thank you for joining us.